we have a call on the line uh, from Mrs. Berkowitz, and she has a very, a very succinct question. It's very intelligent. Um, Serene, why don't you ask your question to the audience? Sure. Um, I'm just wondering what to look for. What are the early signs if someone is bitten by a snake? I have a 12-year-old that um, is allergic to bug bites, and I didn't know if they were more susceptible. And what should I look for? And how would I know if it's venomous? Oh, that's a good question, Shireen. So, um, the first, some of the first signs to look for are um, are swelling. You know, like so. What happens is, in, in fact, I'll tell you a story. So, in fact, do you remember when J your brother Jude was bitten by the snake? Yeah. So this happened. So her brother, this is my daughter Camille. Her uh, her brother Jude got bitten by a snake when he was um, about two, and we actually reenacted that for a show on Untold Stories of the ER. But um, I remember, I wasn't home when that one happened, but like a couple of months earlier, or weeks earlier, another neighbor had been bitten. And so I got to see his snake bite like really shortly after he got bit. So sometimes you can't even see the fang punctures, but then shortly thereafter it starts to kind of progress. And so it starts to swell and bruise, and you may have some bleeding. So that's what you look for. And some people are allergic to, to snake venom, but not, very, not many people are allergic to snake venom. Most of the tissue damage from a venomous bite is actually tissue necrosis. That's correct. Right. You can have some allergic-like reactions to snake venom, um, but you know, a lot of people are allergic to bees, right? And more people get bitten and stung, or, or mo more people get stung by bees than bitten by snakes, and you see a lot more allergic reactions to bees than, uh, than to snakes. But, Thanks for that question, Shereen. That was a good one.